you are an international student, after having one long day of sleep, the next thing is you go to your school, go to your international student office, try and register. But before you will be able to register, you need to pay your 1,500 US dollars. <music> hi guys i hope you all are doing well welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by hello my name is fafali reina if you're a returning subscriber the one who watches my video on a regular just know you have a special spot in my heart please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on that notification button so anytime fafali reina posts a video you'll be notified so in today's vlog I had a call from Admission World Consult to be their ambassador. So I had a photo shoot session with them. And with Admission World Consult, their goal is to ensure prospective students with international education ambitions achieve their dreams. And they are located at the Emporium building on the ninth floor. You can find them on Instagram as Admission World Consult and on LinkedIn as Admission World Consult too. I'll put their details below the screen. So in case you want, you are interested in any study abroad programs, they are ready to assist you. So guys, still on the study abroad thing, I was once a student in Turkey for last year, fall semester, um, Istanbul Okan University. And I'm here to give you some detailed tips you need to know before moving to Turkey as an international student. First and foremost, you need your passport. And sorry if I'm looking down on my phone because I have all the details here on my other phone. You need your documents. That's your international passport, your acceptance letter. And please don't forget to make photocopies of them before you get to Turkey. And then again, don't forget to send all your documents to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for them to authenticate them before you get to Turkey because that's what will give the school a proof that all your documents are legit and if not within 90 days you will come back to Ghana and when your documents are authenticated that gives you a pass to get your permits secondly you need to pack your gadgets inside your backpack not packing them into the main luggage because sometimes you can get lucky and it won't get damaged but on other times it's not advisable to keep your laptop inside your main luggage talking about sockets they don't use the same sockets we use in ghana so when you get there you can get um their type of sockets that they use over there you don't need to bring textbooks to turkey because most of their um i mean learning materials are online or you can get them in the library. There's no need bringing textbooks from Ghana to Turkey. If you're an international student, after having one long day of sleep, the next thing is you go to your school, go to your international student office, try and register. But before you'll be able to register, you need to pay your 1,500 US dollars before you can have access to your student ID because that's what will give you the pass in and out of your campus. Talking about clothes, the weather in Ghana and the weather in Turkey are two different types of weather. So you don't need to carry all your clothes from Ghana to Turkey. The weather there, maybe if you are going for fall semester, the weather over there will be very cold and you need um, long sleeves, hoodies, Tattle necks to protect yourself from the cold weather. And you need to carry, like, let's say, just four pairs of jeans because you get to Turkey, and I'm telling you, the prices of clothes are, are relatively cheap, and you can be buying and buying and buying. So you don't have to pack all your things from your home country to Turkey. Then again, your shoes, sneakers, you can carry about like um two or three sneakers just to um protect your feet from the snow and the cold weather because when you come there there are winter boots that um 
you wear to protect yourself from the cold. Then again, my ladies, I will encourage you to carry four or three wake cups because braiding in Turkey is expensive. So when you carry some wake cups along, it will help you save some cost. Then if you have any hair products, even though you can get some there, but you can still carry some from Ghana to Turkey and it's still the same thing. There's no need um, packing utensils from your home country because most of the apartments in Turkey are, are fully finished and they have utensils that you can use to cook, that you can use in your house and feel comfortable. So there's no need packing your pods, your, uh, I mean, all those things. There's no need packing them to Turkey because they have something. If you can get seasoning from your country, because the seasoning they sell over there, I don't know what it means. I don't, I don't know what it understands. So if you can bring some maggi from your country to help you enjoy your meals, I think that one will also be of help. Don't forget to get a SIM card because that's what um, your people can reach you on. And that's what you can get um, internet connection with your SIM cards. Then, please, another important thing, just get a Google map and a Google Translator because the language barrier is, is quite challenging. So these two things will really be of help when you get to Turkey. And please don't forget to download a mobile banking app because as at the time you get to Turkey, you wouldn't have the document to create a bank account physically. Please do well to get to the airport early because as at the time I was leaving, I got there two hours ahead of time and I still had some issues to sort out because I had to fill an online form which I had no idea about and they needed my host details and all some other stuff. So please do well and get there early so you have an easy pass. I hope this video was informative and will help moving to Turkey easy for any international student. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.